What's up, everyone? This is Bricks for you, and today I have a very interesting Lego set for this Throwback Friday. Throwback Friday. It's this little mini dump truck. There's nothing else unique about the set. Wait a minute. What's that doing there? Yes, this is back when Lego had CD-ROMs with games. As you can see, there's an entire, you know, backside. So there's... I hope this will work, because... It goes, it says it only works in like, you know, Windows 95, 98, so I may have to downgrade one of my mini, one of my little laptops so I can actually work on this. But yeah, it's like an entire game. That's just, that's very cool. And I, you know, I typically skipped when I've already opened the box, but uh, this is a case where I just, I just have to actually show you opening the box. So, knife in. Oh God, this hurts so much. Yeah, uh, that 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 felt good, but also bad. I mean, Legos, Legos, Lego needs to be played with. It cannot stay in a box forever. But that almost felt sacrilegious. Okay, so let's get our very first item. A little CD-ROM. Here we have a honestly rather crushed, but it's a pretty nice little box for a little digger. I actually kind of like this as an entire other part. I want to see, can this section come out of the box? Yes, it can. So you can almost use this box like a tray. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> that's just, that's just very cool. Very cool. I'm actually probably going to uh, keep the set's box and the CD-ROM in here and actually put it on a shelf just because that's that's really cool. Let's take a quick look at our two items. Here we have the little CD, first and foremost. It's actually rather hefty. I mean, in comparison to something else, I'll be right back. I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like I just need a graphic for when I do something completely random. Actually, I don't even need any knife for this. I just need to find where it's... Okay, yeah, I do need a knife for this. Come on. Okay. So it's for Windows 95, 98, so not entirely sure if I can get this running. Actually, the back of it's very similar to the back of the actual box. And now before I end up spending like 10 hours trying to get the plastic off, I'm just going to make a cut when I actually get it opened. So as you can see, we now have it open. Let's just... Oh! Here we have another advert for some of the other ones at the time. Rock Raiders, Racers, the... Uh, Legoland game. Oh my god. I actually think I might buy that Lego Friends game. So you can get some for not that expensive on eBay if this works, of course. Uh, also mentions Nintendo 64 and the original PlayStation game console. Um, honestly, if I wasn't so well behaved, I would actually call this number. But uh, maybe that's for when I actually take a look at this game entirely. We have the little game manual. It's all about, like, the settings. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, what's... Okay, there's a uh, envelope for something in here. I have a product registration card. Um, well, I'm not entirely sure... If this even really... Counts. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I, you know, if I send this, to, <laughs> if I send this to Lego, how they'll respond. <laughs> oh my god! I, you know, I, I sent Lego a, you know, a note and a manual from <laughs> 2000, and this is what happened. So this is a rather little a beat up little box, I know, but uh, I'm just gonna open up. Right here, I'm not gonna do like speed build or anything. I just kind of want to get the full. I'm not even sure you can actually do it this way. Okay, yeah, you can. When in doubt, knife always works. That's how I open all my Lego boxes, by the way. Just so I can keep them in at least you know a 
good-ish condition. Let's just get this open. Come Okay. Give me just one second because I'm thwarted by this box. I now have it open. Let's just pour out the uh, contents here. Oh my god, there's advertisements. Oh my god. Okay, so there's this little... I'm flooded with nostalgia even though I wasn't alive in this period. That's, that's like, oh my god. I, I honestly... Oh my god. Yellow Han Solo. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I, I can join Lego Club. I, I, I need this. I need this immediately. Um... Here we have a little, what appears to be a Star Wars advert. Oh my god. I, 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 again, I wasn't even alive during this year and I'm just flooded with nostalgia. Robo Riders! Knight's Kingdom! City Center, which is what this is from. Race! Oh my god, that's Dino Island Adventurers. And here, let me just actually angle my camera up a bit. Here we have a massive page. I took a look at this set recently! Where did I put it on the shelf? It's, it's somewhere on one of the shelves, but yeah, I just took a look at this. That's hilarious. I really want the Gungan Patrol. Someday I really want to take a look at that on this series, just because that's such a bloody cool set. Original Millennium Falcon. There's the A-Wing. The old football sets. And here we have classic Arctic. Oh my god. I, I love these kinds of things. Oh my god. Okay. Here you have your little manual. You know, just very... Very simple. I mean, it's a very simple little set. I'm going to build it and get right back to you. As you can see, I just opened the little bag. By the way, I adore this bag. It's so cool. But, uh, his head was already attached to his torso. I think that's just very, very interesting. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going to get to building it now. That was just very cool. Here we have the very little digger. As you can see, there's just a very simple little feature that you just kind of... See, so yeah, it just is—it's very, very simple. This actually uses the old gray. Love that little blue tile right there. These tires are actually a little—I don't know exactly what the word is, but they're kind of sticky. Like my hands feel a little sticky now, so I'm gonna have to go and wash them right now, <laughs> like right after I finish this. It's a very cute little digger. Here's the figure. Like my camera focuses. White hard hat. It's just a very classic Lego face. Very simple little torso. It's a—you know—no back printing even. It's a. Very simple figure. Now let's just turn the hands over. Actually, sit him in the little little digger. I somehow want to incorporate this into my Lego City. That's just adorable. Oh my god, <laughs> this is just so cute. I actually use this one big piece on the bottom right here to make up all the wheels. That's very interesting, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna go and wash my hands. And I'm then going to try to get the CD to work on my computer. I'm not sure if it will, but if it does, I'm going to get footage right now. I'm also going to make a later on video about, well, the era of LEGO CD-ROM games. So I really hope that works out. Or else I'm about to have to downgrade my computer to a very old Windows. So with the exception of this still not working... I'm going to try to do a follow-up video. I'm going to try to get Virtual Machine working properly. And or just use an older computer. No idea which I'm going to do. Maybe, hell, it might just completely change my little laptop to a Windows XP at this point. Um, but yeah. So, this is Throwback Friday. So what exactly does this set offer for the, you know, for the present? And I think, for one, it offers a very cute little digger, even though it has kind of rubbery tires. <laughs> cute little digger. Especially old gray, that's pretty cool. But I also think it's a it's a memory of times you know gone in that you know a game with a Lego set. I think that's a very neat idea. Even if I haven't been able to get it to run yet, I promise I will make a follow up video trying to get it to run. And once I do, once I get that to run, I'll probably try to get a couple others of the Lego CD ROMs of this time period. So yeah, I mean, so what else does it exactly offers? I think this still offers. A very good vehicle to this day. I think this is still a very high quality vehicle. Really cool. Really fun. Very simple, but it's but it's nice. Yeah, I just think the entire game being packaged with says really cool. 
going to get to work at some point and actually show it to you all instead of a screen with error messages. <laughs> Because that was not the uh, screens I was planning to be able to show. But yeah, I do hope to get that up and running for a video maybe next week. But yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been Throwback Friday, and goodbye.